That's such a risk. Look, it's missing one of the most important critical components of the fuel filter. Not only are we taking a close look at these fuel filters right here, but we're also taking an OEM fuel filter housing. I'm going to show you the flow in and out and why certain components of these fuel filters are absolutely critical. I do have a diagram that I'm going to go over as well to help better explain just exactly what is going on with the fuel filters and why it's so important to have a good quality fuel filter within the system and not one of these cheap little $10 ones. This is scary. This could allow water through and cause a bunch of issues with you. We're going to break it down on why these fuel filters are way better than this cheap fuel filter. This is your fuel filter housing. And I went ahead and drew a picture of the flow. Now it may look confusing right now, but I'm gonna do a quick rundown on how this works. And the reason why we wanna know how the fuel flows through the filter housing is because it's going to help us understand the fuel filters function and why the cheapy filters are actually junk. Now I've got my goofy pointer here. I know it's funny. Red and blue, that's going to be our diesel fuel and water. Now, not at all times are you gonna have water in your fuel, but water does collect in diesel fuel. And so that's why it's huge, huge, huge issue to get all the water out. So that way it doesn't go through the fuel system. If it goes through the fuel system, you could have some catastrophic issues, which we'll get into a little bit later. Fuel and water, and it comes down into the side of the fuel filter housing and it goes around, obviously the whole fuel filter is 360 degrees but it will go through the media right here and it will collect all the debris there. Now there's additional media here that actually collects and retains the water. It's going to drop down into your bowl here. And this right here is your sensor. Now, once the fuel goes through there, the green is now clean fuel and it actually goes up through there and it's gonna travel through another screen that water cannot get into. This is the AC Delco TP1015. Now I bought this off of Amazon. You can trust Amazon as long as you buy from the correct GM parts store. And I have a bunch of videos showing just that because I don't want anybody to get fooled, but there are China knockoffs that has similar markings on this, but there's some indicators on there. And I've got videos that show differences between those filters. And I highly recommend you check those out. If you haven't already, links will be in the description to purchase these. But anyway, let's get into this. Now this filter is made by Man and Hummel, which that's going to be a name that we we talk about a lot in this video. Remember on the earlier part of the video where I said the fuel will flow through the filter media, that's actually through here and then it comes out through there. And then that screen that you see there, that's where the fuel is going to travel through in order to come out the top of this fuel filter. Now the water is actually not going to be able to transfer through that screen material. So that's what allows it to separate the water and the water stays down below. I said, this is a Man and Hummel filter. When we go over to the Wix fuel filter, this is also made by Man and Hummel. And that's because Man and Hummel own the Wix filters and makes the AC Delco filters. Now this is about 20 to $30, depending on when you buy it and where you buy it. And this Wix one is 40 to $50. So in my opinion, these are identical filters. When you look at them, they are just absolutely identical. Now, another fuel filter that I'm asked about often is the Dox diesel fuel filter. And honestly, grabbing this, first thing I thought of was my K&N fuel filter video that I had a while back. Again, link in the description for that. And I did a full cutaway and I compared a K&N fuel filter to an AC Delco. And it was funny because I actually emailed K&N and asked for the specs on this fuel filter and uh, they didn't have it. So funny to see this filter. This is identical to that K&N fuel filter. And I want to point out too that their micron rating is three microns with these fuel filters. But when you click on the link for the paperwork on it, it's actually an older style 6.6 Duramax fuel filter that they tested. So whether or not the media is the exact same, I don't know. So in regards to micron ratings, there are so many wild micron ratings, anywhere from two to 10 on these filters. Wix actually so shows two micron on here. And I've shown, or I've seen up to 10 micron on this. There's just no definitive information on that. So honestly, we can't trust any micron rating with any of these fuel filters. But anyway, back to this one, like I said, I did a cutaway video with the K&N fuel filter. And if you wanna see a closer look of how this filter looks inside, I recommend you check, take a look at that video, but I wanna point out one thing. Now remember that internal media that I was talking about? Based off of the K&N cutaway, this internal media that grabs the water is actually a lot thinner than the AC Delco one. So that tells me that these will most likely do a better job at filtering out the water and retaining it and then dropping it down into the bowl. So that's my opinion on that, but this looks like a good filter and these seem like a good 
value. I also want to point out when you go to the Wix site and you pull up the Wix part number, they actually show a fil fuel filter that is pictured just like this. So I think no matter what you get right here, if you get any one of these three, you can't go wrong. You're going to be paying more if you get the Wix. In my honest opinion, AC Delco is the best value. It's kind of the gold standard. And uh, this looks like a very fine filter. I, I would not hesitate to run this as well. I like the fact that this has a little bit better water separation abilities. But again, that's just speculation based off of what I've seen. And now we have the $10 fuel filter. I went on to Amazon and tried to find the cheapest fuel filter because I want to show you guys, this is scary. So this right here is extremely loose. This is a critical component in filtering out the water. Remember how I told you how it filters the water through there, that screen? So right up there, if that's loose, you're actually going to be able to get water coming through there, which means there's really not any water separation going on in here because it's not able to do it. The other thing is you look inside there, there's no more mesh inside there. So there's nothing attempting to grab the water like these other ones have. And that is critical because the last thing you want is water going into your fuel system because what happens is it goes into your injection pump this is actually one that was contaminated with DEF. I have a full video on that. It's been sitting in my garage for a little bit too, so that doesn't help. This got DEF in it and it took out the whole system. It does not take much because there's such tight clearances inside these injection pumps that any water in there could cause major, major issues. So that's my warning to you. Please do not run a cheap fuel filter in your Duramax diesel because, I mean, these, these filters are so cheap. This, I believe I got this one for about $21. And the recommended interval is about 25,000 miles if you go by the 3.0 Duramax cluster. But I go 10 to 15,000 max. This is just cheap insurance. And the other reason I say that is because when you take it apart, you're actually going to be able to see inside the fuel filter bowl. And if there's any contamination in there, you can know right away. And it's better to know earlier than it is later, especially if it's going to be on your dime. While we're on the subject of fuel filters and doing everything properly, Torque these down, guys. It's very critical. 18 foot-pounds is what these go to. Lubricate this O-ring. You can see how shiny this is. This is brand new out of the box. So out of the box, or before they assemble it in the box, they're actually lubricating these. And if you're replacing your fuel filter, replace this O-ring, lubricate it. Replace this O-ring, lubricate it. And remember, I told you that it's absolutely critical because it needs to seal right there. You don't want any water going through because if you get water passing through there, you're getting water through your engine. And you must lubricate this O-ring too, because if you don't lubricate that, you can run the risk of rolling that O-ring and then you have no seal, which means water can go through. Very, very critical. Lubricate, now when I say lubricate, I use diesel fuel to lubricate everything because it all lives in diesel fuel, so diesel fuel is good. Now in order to get it torqued correctly, I use a click wrench. I absolutely love these, super easy. It's three eighths drive. You just pop it on and then you just tighten it till it clicks. There's nothing wrong with using a standard socket and a regular torque wrench if you want to go about that route. But definitely torque these down because if you over torque these, they're actually going to seize up on there and that's bad news. And then if you have to buy a new housing, they're actually not even that expensive. I bought this for, I think it was about $70 off of Amazon. Again, I'll link it down below. This one is for the 3.0 Duramax diesel and this is the part number right there. But like I said, it's not that difficult to swap these out. You get a brand new fuel filter in there, everything all set up. Also comes with the heater assembly, the water and fuel sensor. So it's not bad. Pick up one of these if you do your own fuel filters and this might save you later on. I have gotten a lot of messages that, hey, this is seized on, I can't get it off. What do you suggest? Well, at that point, I suggest you replace it because if there's any cracks in here or if this isn't able to seal up, you're going to have a leak and that's a big problem. The other thing is, these aluminum fuel filter bases. Now, yes, I think they're pretty neat because they seem to be more durable. There's some questions on uh, how great they are in winter time and if more susceptible to the fuel freezing or gelling, uh, that I can't answer. So run that at your own risk, but I do think these are great for the long term. Hopefully this video helps you out on deciding which fuel filter to get and just what to look for in fuel filters. Again, this is what I run. This is totally sufficient. Don't listen to anybody out there that says that these are not sufficient. Yes, they run them on the cruise, but they also run them on the 6.6 Duramax diesel. And I see a lot of trucks out there that are doing just fine. So run these without worry. Get a genuine AC Delco one or any one of these that you prefer. 
Not this one though, definitely don't. While well, some people may be okay running this super cheap stuff, but man, it's just, that's such a risk. Look, it's missing. One of the most important critical components of the fuel filter. It's also loose inside. That's going to let water pass through. This is just asking for trouble right there. Definitely, please take my warning. Till next time, see ya.